We have the Super Mario 64, 9.8 A++. Emily, what do you have? Last call at 1.35. We're going to sell at 1.3 million. 7107. 7107. Congratulations. An unopened copy of Super Mario 64 sells at auction for a million and a half dollars, and that beats the previous record of $870,000 for a video game sold at auction. The 1995 video game was originally released for Nintendo 64 and was the first video game to show Mario in 3D. Let's go! Yahoo! Tubers and Trolls, Chris here with Tell Splash Gaming, one of the OG members of the Brew Crew with you, and you're watching my buddies Robert and Wes live out their nerd fantasies, drinking beer and playing games at Gaming Off The Grid. If the cat already wasn't out of the bag about video games being worth money and collecting, national news has cast light on it in a way that I don't recall in a long time. I've never seen this before, uh, so you guys have probably seen Super Mario 64 sold for $1.5 million graded CIB. Yeah. Which is absolutely insane for being one of the most common N64 games. Yep. But what's crazy is this is a buildup. So first off, Super Mario Bros. on the NES sold for like 660000 and then Zelda sold for almost a million in, on the NES, and now this for one point five. I don't... It's crazy. You know, we're not here to dissect what's going on. Could Wada be padding their own landing? Could there be some private investors driving up the prices of this stuff to make Wada games seem like a, a, a deal that they need to do? For sure. For sure. There could be corruption behind all this, and there possibly is. We're not the channel for that. But today, we're looking at how video games are maybe entering that realm of sports cards, yes. which sports cards collectors, I don't know if you really tune into our channel, but I work with an avid sports card collector who was doing it kind of on the casual scene up till about a year and a half ago with his son. Yeah. Buying basketball cards. They were just having fun. And then all of a sudden... And his son's way into Pokemon, so he kind of knows a little bit about that. But he's way into basketball, so his son knows a little bit about that. They have all these cards they, sent, they have sent off to get graded and literally turned thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars by doing this. And I think we've reached that point where video games are now going to be the target of, of heavy investors and collectors and once you get here i don't know that there's any going back am i happy as a collector that it's here i mean you know i i, I move and i shake with the times i'm not yeah, gonna let yeah. it like beat me down you have to adapt and yeah. if you can't adapt uh, you can just be bitter about it but what's the point yeah why be bitter uh so it got us thinking like we had a couple things in our collection that are still sealed yeah so we were like man if super mario 64 sealed graded I mean, it got graded a really good amount, sold for that much. Is this a worthwhile investment? What is it, 50 bucks to get these yeah. graded? Yeah. Is it worthwhile for duplicates in our collection that are still sealed to send off to get graded? Is that a, yeah. is that a worthwhile investment? I th We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We just did our recent hunting video. We have a ton of cash to burn, and we've got some games that we've picked up recently because they were on sale, etc., that we just haven't got around to playing. And usually we don't keep sealed games, but until we play them, we don't open them. Yeah. So let's start with uh, these two. Pokemon stuff is just hot. I recently got these for $9.98 each at Walmart. Pokemon Ultra Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun. On the Nintendo 3DS. Now sealed, you know, I could probably sell these for $30 to $40, probably closer to $30, and I got them for $9. Bucks. Which is a good flip. But I think it's worth the investment to send these off. And yeah. we'll, we'll follow up if they come back and, and let you know what they're graded. I don't know, though. This could be like a deal where we hang on to these for quite a few years then, look at this is like then, investing yeah pretty much. I, th I think like when we're like super old we might have to do a, like a follow-up yeah. follow-up video where we have gray hair and we're like man we're gonna sell this and see how much money we make and maybe at that point we're like what the fuck is going on and people are probably like Yo. what are you doing you're you're ruining my hobby you're corrupting it 
we're adapting with the times, and these are games that we haven't got around to. Yeah. They're in our collection. And we're not ruining the, you know? Once it hits national news, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, people already know, like, yeah. you know, we're not going to find Mario 64 complete in box at garage sales anymore. Yeah. Because everyone knows about it. So, it's not us. Even Grandma, she pulls that game out of her basement. She's like, oh, I seen this on Channel 8 News the other night. Maybe this is worth something. Yeah, she won't sell it for a dollar. Yeah. Um, we have uh, a couple copies of this. Uh, you actually snagged one because you just wanted to get one for the Switch, but I had already pre-ordered one. So we have one hanging around. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Still sealed. We already have one open, so it's like, might Just as well. Get it graded. There's not many comps out there. I don't know. Same thing with these two. Not many comps. I don't know. Well, what's cool about this one is, like, this is a limited run, so it makes me think, like, maybe... I I bet Nintendo will release, like, a, a Greatest Hits version I eventually. I think they will. But, it, but you know how collectors are. Like, they want, like, the original stuff. Yeah. So it makes me think. I don't know. Yeah. We're just um, shooting, at the, shooting at the wind right Yeah. Now. We've got the digital download of this game, but we also ordered this game from Limited Run. I believe that's who released this anyway. Maybe not. But anyway, it's one of those uh, online. But uh, Shante, half genie, half hero. This is the Risky Beats edition. But it's still sealed. I, I don't even know what they look at. Like, I see some rippling here on yeah, the screen. Yeah, I have no idea how they... How do you grade sealed games? I have no idea. But we're going to send it off. Might as well. We're going we're gonna to throw, throw some money at this thing. I think, worst case scenario, I, I feel like there's no way we won't get our money back. Yeah. But and I bet we'll at least double up. But th this could just be pissing under the wind at the same time. We're just looking at it as investments, and investments are risky. Yeah. So speaking of the Wii U, we actually got this game for free. Yeah. And that's Zelda Breath of the Wild still sealed. We have another copy of this opened yeah. that we play. We got this for free. It was a buy one, get one. Yeah. And this is the only... We were like, hey, we already have it. Let's just... I think you were like, hey, I'll get this in case someone wants to play it. I'll give it to them. Yeah, but well, we, it was, a, it was a, a Black Friday deal, and we're looking at games, and... It was really picked over by the time we got there. And so I got Tokyo Mirage. I always struggle to say that one. Sessions. And there were no other decent Wii U games to pick from. This was the best game for sure. And literally for free. Uh, I, think, I don't know. I think this is going to be good because it was initially, it was released for both the Switch and the Wii U. But I think it was developed for the Wii U. It had, it, you know what I mean? I think Phoenix Resale just sold a graded one of these for like 700 So... If that's the case, we're going to pay for all this just out just of that. Just out of that. that. And that's if we and don't hang right, on to and it. And that's right now. Yeah. Um, I have seen ones for this one. I have seen comps for this, like 1,000, 1,200. That's freaking... Yeah. If we get a good grade. It all depends on how it comes back, and I think it's so arbitrary in the eye of the beholder of whatever person gets that on the other end. And then how they grade it. Yeah. Dude, it's... Like, I don't understand... Hey, it's a little crease up. Ah. I don't understand this whole process of grading and... I don't get it, and I don't understand why people would pay for that kind of stuff, but that's just what the market is nowadays, so... We did, though, just out of our own stupidity, we did dip our toe in the water. A while ago, we, we, yeah. we graded a uh, NES Complete Box Tetris. Sealed. Sealed. Yeah. We went through VGA that time, Yeah. and then we sold it, and we made a decent amount on it. It was yeah. on the show for a long time. I can't remember. I'd have to look back at the, the footage, but did we get four or five hundred bucks Which out of that? Which is insane. And we got it. We picked up a lot of video games, and it was a lot in quantity but it was a lot where we spent uh, like 700 bucks and everything and we ended up turning and burning that whole thing for north of uh, 2000 prior to selling that yeah. now when i sent that off and i could be wrong we're completely novice in the grading game but it had a walmart sticker on it and i think that's not a good thing when you're getting things graded you want it like as clean as possible to us we're like oh that's, that's stick, cool because that's, it showed the other you know, price you time know? stamps it you know if yeah, you will but right. uh i think we got like a 9.0 on it which is pretty good yeah. and then we sold it and but we're not going through v uh, no it, it wasn't a 9.0 <laughs> vga does a 100 point scale so it was like uh it was like an 8.5 or something it was an 8.5 i think we'll I have to know. look back at the footage it's, i can't remember it's very so that's what i don't understand is there's two different grading Huge grading sites. I, I, I bet there's a ton more out there. But WADA is in the news right now because that's what it sold through. Mm -hmm. And that's what the other ones are selling through, too. So that's why it's like, mm, something's yeah. going on. Or I don't know. Maybe they grade things better. Yeah. I, dude, all this stuff is way over my head. So I'm just like, we're going, just, I'm just going with it. We're just going to swing at this thing. A limited run release of a game we really, really, really like. And we never opened this because we ordered a copy for you at your place. Yeah. Me here. And we also have a digital download so we 
my copy's open because we wanted the soundtrack and all that stuff. But Robert's copy, Axiom, Axiom Verge. Verge. The multiverse edition on the Wii U. Yeah. We also have this on the PS4. Yeah. I don't know. This is limited run. I think it was like 2,500 prints. I know sealed. This game's selling north of 100. Get a decent grade? I don't know, man. I, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. This is just kind of like a fun experiment we're doing, yeah. you know, with extra games. And then we got another, uh, one of the last releases, I think, on the Wii U, Shakedown Hawaii. This, again, we both ordered a copy. And there's two of us, so we, we two have of us, one so to play. We just opened the one that ends up here in the game room. You've got a stash of shit over at your place, too. That I mean, you just, like, oh, I played it over there. I'm not going to play it on my own yeah. time because we played it together. Shakedown Hawaii. This one, this one looks like in, it's in minty condition. I mean, from our eyes, all these are in mint condition. So we will probably do a follow-up and not basically say anything about what anything sold for because I think we're gonna camp on this stuff yes. for a while. But we're gonna we're gonna tell you like what it got graded. Yeah. And like you know, be like, hey, this is, and then we're gonna put it away. So because we're investing. And out of our entire collection, I hope you guys understand we this was never something we intended to do no these were just games that we both respectively wanted in some cases so we both ordered the copy but then we just ended up playing it together so the other person hasn't got to playing it on their own or that we bought a singular copy of like these pokemon games i haven't played ds in like six months just i got them for 9.98 we got breath of the wild for free and we already had it yeah you no know, it's like we just had all these sealed games and then when we saw like all these news articles you yeah. know of like stuff going crazy that's graded i was like man yeah 50 bucks a pop and you know i mean we went through our whole entire collection when we came out of it with what three five, seven sealed games that we just haven't got to yet i wish we had more because it seems like it would help a but lot it's just this whole thing is crazy i think it's worth throwing you know three four hundred bucks at yeah just, just to, to see what happens yeah. if anything we'll we'll at least get our money back for I, sure i'm certain that this will pay for and double what we invest in this just this game just alone. in that game yeah. if it comes back with a decent grade which again I, i'm not an expert but from everything i see i don't see anything it's wrong with it this. it looks brand yeah new. it looks it's it's perfect so time will tell i just feel like we've crossed a threshold now um obviously awareness is everything yep. you know and game hunting and, and and whatnot and uh it's it's really felt over the last month that there's been like a pivotal shift I think that we're going to see, at least for the short term, you know, how long will it sustain? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But kind of a sports card type of wave and, in video games. And obviously this is kind of a controversial topic. A lot of people don't agree with, you know, grading things and selling it for a crazy amount of money. But that's just, that's what's happening right now. You know what I mean? Like it's weird. Why wouldn't you? I guess would be the, my yeah. counterpoint. I mean, I'm not, but I bet there are people out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm are, just thinking like they're anti it. You know, we're we're guys that work full time. We're shoveling shit just like everybody else. It's everything we can do just to make videos, right? If we had a sealed copy of Mario 64 for whatever reason, now we probably wouldn't be patient enough to still have that. No. And you could take a whack at 1.5 mil. Now I know you might not get that, but I think you even said like. Uh, when you were researching for this video idea that there was one that sold a little bit before that graded a little less but like 130k oh yeah there there was one that sold for 13k 13 13k 13 i had the one in the three right but what's crazy is it was still rated very high it was still sealed and it, that one went for 13k and the other one went for 1.5 million but like, like wow that's such a huge difference but even then if you sold the game for 13k that's a big chunk of money that's life-changing money yeah just and None of us collect video... I shouldn't say none of us. The majority of us hardcore gamers, we don't collect video games for the money. But if you have something that in your collection and you're too proud to take a shot and step into the batter's box and swing at 1.3 million, that's that's a you problem, man. I, I, I'm not all about money, but man. Like this, this to me, it's reasonable. Go through the game room. Okay, we have seven sealed games. Let's... Play a little Yahtzee! Yeah, let's roll the dice. See, see what, what happens. happens. And maybe we'll have a good story to tell you. Maybe they'll come back and be graded like dog shit. And maybe we'll never get out from under it. It's an investment. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. It's going to shoot it out of there and see what happens. I mean, I think uh, I think it's just something to think about. If you're out there game hunting and you happen to find something sealed. Um, or if you have sealed games in your collection that you haven't got to that you're like, am I ever going to play this? Yeah. Or if I have duplicates of it? I and, don't know, you know it's because it's it's hot right now. You know, fortunately, like I look at this and I'm like, okay, 
Shantae, eh, we'll see. Limited prints, though, so that might help. Axiom Verge, eh, limited prints, but we'll see. Shakedown, eh, we'll see. I feel really good about Zelda and the Pokemon games, and I don't know what the hell to think of this. I, yeah, I just that don't. One's, that one's tough. But I do picture. feel like these three, at some point, will be like, holler if you hear me. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's insane. But now we got to talk about this beer because it is Bad Beer Month. and Second to last. Second to last bad beer we have to drink, and then we can drink finally good beer. This is Bush Beer. Not Bush Light. Straightforward Bush Heavy. I'm going to cut you off there, old school fans. This is Bush Bath. Bush Bavarian. Bush Bavarian, bud. You guys remember 1950? I don't remember 1955, but from 1955 through like the 80s, this was Bush Bav. The can art was cool back yeah, then. Yeah, uh, way better than it is now. This is honestly the first time I've ever had this beer. I think we both had Bush Light. That's like a Midwestern thing. Yeah, uh, dude, Bush Light is like Iowa's beer. Yeah. Like it's... And I'm not... I don't dislike it, but it's, I'm not... No, I never buy it's it. It's Magoo. I drink it a lot, but I never yeah. buy it. This beer... Since I've had so much Bush Light, it has the same taste. It's just a little bit heavier. Yeah, yeah. But what's weird is like this is like the heavier version of Bush Light, and this is only like four percent. Yeah. And Bush Light like is water. also four percent. We so can like probably down between the two of us at twenty-four over a day and not even notice. Probably. Yeah. It's just. I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's light. It's a bad <laughs> beer. It's cheap. It's Bush Bath, bud. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know what else to say. I, there was a, I can't remember. I think we were in Chicago. This was the, the studio visit. I, I believe it was the one before you joined the band. And we went into some rando liquor store and Brian, the drummer for our band, uh, Hazer was like, Oh, they have Bush bath. Like what? We look at the thing. It doesn't say Bush no. bath Bavarian anywhere in there. It just says Bush. And I'm like, dude, you're, wh what are you talking about? He's like, no, dude, this is Bush bath. <laughs> like no it's not dude and he's like no dude that's what it used to be called and he like goes through google finds all these ads and he's like see and i'm like touche touche so that's what we we call it now yeah, yeah. bush, bush bath. Bath. towards the end of bush bad beer month yeah <laughs> it's all right yeah so uh in the comment section below let us know what do you think about the hype around these WADA grades and prices. I think they're overinflated. I think- Yes, I think it's absolutely insane. I think you brought up the $13,000 sale, the $1.5 million. That's sale. insane difference. I think this thing's gonna marinate closer to the 13, probably a little higher, nowhere near the 1.5 as things shake out. But anytime you see a volatile market, yeah, there's risk involved, but you could catch a wave yeah. And something could pop. Whoa. And to land in a couple little fellers' pockets like ours, that would be kind of a big deal. It's crazy because it started off with Super Mario Bros. selling for over a half a yeah. million. Yeah. You know, Zelda selling for almost a million. Yeah. Like, so, like, the market's been building for a little bit, but then that Super Mario 64 is what tipped it. Yeah. I and, don't get it. And then I've, I've seen, you know, like I said, Phoenix Resale. He's been sending a few games off to get graded. And I'm like, all right, time to comb through the collection. Let's see what we have. And uh, throw a little log on the fire. I like fire. I mean, I'm okay riding a wave to make a few bucks. See how it shakes out. It's our money. Let us know your thoughts. If you have any sealed games in your collection, maybe read your own mail. Yeah. That'd be time to send off a little package to Wada Games. We appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. If the cat wasn't... <laughs> This is just going to be a heavier version of Bush Light. I mean, it only, this guy only comes in at 4.3%. Yeah, it's like water. What's Bush Light then? What's, why does it make it light? Bush Light's got to be 4% too.